Do you ever get the terms validity and reliability confused? Want to know the difference? We're going to talk about that in today's video. Welcome. In this video, we're going to be talking about the terms reliability and validity, and we're going to be diving into what each one means. Now, if you get to the end of this video and you think, hey, I kind of understand these terms a little better, but also I have questions and I don't know if I 100% understand them, that's okay. That's normal. All I'm going to be doing in this video is giving you a basic introduction to the terminology, and then I'm going to be having subsequent videos where we dive in deeper. So let's get started on just the definitions here. So reliability, we're talking about the extent to which the results can be replicated under the same or very similar conditions. So if you think about the methodology section in a research paper, and it could be something that you've written or something you've read, those methods should very clearly delineate the steps, the process that you or the researcher went through, right, in order to design, set up, and carry out the study, right? So you should be able to take that paper and, or I should be able to take your paper and say, okay, I understand exactly what's going on here and I could do this same study. I could replicate it, all right? How reliable are your results, right? Or is your study. Now, validity is talking about are the assessment this, assessments that you're using, your data collection procedures, are they measuring what they are supposed to measure? So a very extreme example here, just to make a point, let's say that I want to go into a 10th grade class and I want to measure students' reading comprehension abilities. But when I decide to go measure that, when I give them the assessment, I give them a series of writing prompts and ask them to create a written response. That's not measuring their reading comprehension abilities. So I cannot say anything about their reading comprehension abilities based on that assessment, right? So you wanna make sure that whatever your data collection procedures are, and this applies to observational research as well, and we'll get into that in a future video, that it's all measuring and getting at what it is you want it to get at, right? What it is your study is supposed to measure and help us understand. Okay, so a couple things here. Reliability does not equal validity. And if that just scrambled your brain a little bit, that's okay, it always scrambles mine. So reliability, right, is about can I read your procedures and go and replicate that study, okay? But let's say that, you know, getting back to my earlier example of I wanna measure reading comprehension but I'm using a writing assessment, that's not valid, right? But I can reliably tell you all the procedures that I use, but it doesn't mean that I used valid measures to get out my research question, okay? So reliability does not equal validity, but if your methods are not reliable, if they're all over the place and they're a complete mess, then they're also probably not valid as well. They're not measuring what they need to be measuring, okay? Now, with reliability and also validity, we're talking about something being very consistent, right? So with reliability, I'm telling you what steps I took to collect my data, right? How I set up my study, any protocols that I had, et cetera. And it's very, I'm very consistent in what I do, how I do it, and why I do it, all right? Now, validity, if you look at that example on the slide, this example, and I know we can contest this, but it's an example for the sake of making a pretty basic, easy to understand example here. Validity is saying, okay, if I take an assessment like the SAT five times in a row, I'm gonna roughly get the same score, okay? It's measuring what it's supposed to measure. Now, obviously, if I show up in September and take the SAT and I don't like my score, and I go back and try to improve some things, make some changes, learn some things, get better at things, and take it in January, we hope my score is going to go up. That's not what we're talking about here, right? But the idea is that consistently, um, if I'm not, especially if I'm not making any changes or improvement and haven't been exposed to things that would change my score one way or the other, then that score should be roughly the same um, no matter how many times I'm taking that test, right? Unless I try to do something to alter the score in some way, all right? So that's a very basic introduction to reliability and validity. They're very easy to confuse. So if you find yourself having to go back, stop, and look it up, look up those definitions again, it's completely normal, happens all the time. Head on down to the comments, let's talk research. What questions do you have about reliability, validity? What do you wanna see future videos on in regards to this topic 
in the future.